Good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folaring. Well, yesterday we were looking at the uh, Benue killings and, um, well, since then government has reacted. So clearly um, these things were in the pipeline because um, uh, now government is putting forward a number of proposals that would hopefully see us out of the woods of this one Nigerian killing another, whatever the reason, and um, they're not being terrorists or anything like that. It still is there. I looked at the papers. The Benue people are still saying, or shall we say Benue activists are still saying that until these cattle, marauding cattle, you know, herdsmen have been declared terrorists, it's very, very unlikely that we'll be able to contain the situation. Okay, what, whichever way, um, we'll continue that discussion today in the light of moves by the federal government. I also saw something by Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, um, uh, pleading, as it were, um, that we should not take, not seek to take revenge, you know, that kind of a thing. Well, the, all the kind of right things to say, but um, from the point of view of the people in Benue who actually saw it firsthand, all of us said yesterday that we can understand uh, the horrors that has been witnessed need not have been witnessed. Well, my guests this morning, um, Alaji Mohammed Tuko, social commentator, airline operator, and then thank you very much for coming because uh, your perspective, you are a Fulani man yourself, as well as a Nigerian, so your perspective is going to be valuable. Thank you very much for coming on. Thank you. Chief Dr. Fasi Yusuf is a lawyer, teacher, and communications consultant. Thank you very much for coming. My on. pleasure, Yori. Indeed. Happy New Year. Indeed, compliments to you too. And um, Dr. Luke Onyeka Kea, just as he wanted it, member of the editorial board of The Guardian. Uh, thank you very, very much for coming on. Thank you. Happy New Year. Indeed. Compliments of the season to you as well. Um, I'd like you to go. Let me start with you. I, I, you might have caught our program yesterday and the sentiments that were expressed uh, are, are therein. And um, the feeling is that the Fulani herdsmen have free reign over whatever they want to do. And it was not being said, but it, is, it was being, uh, what is the word now? The innuendo out there was that it's because Mr. President is a Fulani man himself. That any, that is not to say everybody will testify that Mr. President is one of the most detribalized Nigerians that they know, but nevertheless, this has come very, very close to home, metaphoric home. And so Mr. President is looking the other way. Uh, how is it, that, how do you see it? Well, thank you very much. Um, you see, the problem is that people are not addressing the issue the way he's supposed to be. Fulanis are living in that area for decade. A planning man, when you look at TVs, you look at Fulani, they are just like a brother and sister. Today, if President Buhari is not in the villa, maybe he's having an office in a, within Abuja. Mm -hmm. A TV man can come and knock that door, nobody can stop him to go and meet him and ask him whatever he wants and he will do it. We have that kind of relationship <coughs> together. So Indeed. they live together for a period of time. Mm -hmm. So, but whatever go wrong, maybe if you see a planning man attack a place, he must be attacked first. That's what I know. But if government understand that, okay, there is a problem between this community and this community, what they're supposed to do to take action. I will give you an example. It's happened in uh, what Parish did after uh, the crisis in uh, in, in uh, Ikiti. What did he do? The first thing he have a law, the next thing he arrest the cows, the next thing he bring everybody together, sit down. He know what he has done. Did you have anything? No. So in, in Binue, I remember there is a lot of clashes individually. People are seeing those people in the bush. There is a criminal among the villainous. Really, there is. I hope you understand. I'm no doubt about, there's no doubt about that. But, but you are saying very much what I have heard, the leaders of the Fulanese, uh, I think it is Mayati Allah, who, who was speaking to BBC House, are saying that it was self-defense. In other words, uh, you, what you are suggesting, that we were attacked, what do you want us to do? That, that's, that's what what, the, what I'm doing. saying here is this, that like uh, the governor of uh, Binway, he knows exactly what they should do. But the problem of some of the governors, they are, they are presenting to their people like, okay, I'm depending you 
-hmm. But they have, the, they, they have the solution in their hands. A, a Tibiman or any other tribe attack a flying man who is in the bush and so on. And so do you understand what I'm saying? All what you need to do, you quickly get to the people. Get to the community. Bring them together. Sit down and talk to them and listen to them. Oh, after the attack. After the attack. After but being attacked by yes, but, man, but see what you can do no, to bring them attack, together. After the problem started by attacking the Fulani people. I see. Okay. Okay. We'll, we will come back to that. That's where the I think, problem I think is. the point you have made very, very clearly is that, look, what happened, unfortunately, is self-defense. You see... <clears throat> the problem of Fulani man, let me just wait, tell you, you. Wait, wait. Let me tell you, you one thing. First. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you is that when you attack a Fulani man, mm -hmm. if a community attack a Fulani man, yes. or any member of the community attack a Fulani man, yes. the next thing, you will see them packing their thing, trying to leave. Okay. Don't allow them to leave. And if they leave, they are not going to come back at Tengri Pesh. Okay. Other people will come and take revenge. Well, okay. Uh, That's their tradition. Uh, Fasi. A dire analysis. <laughs> Give me your thoughts. Well, because think, it's good to, to uh, have it from say, someone uh, who knows the inner I, I, workings I, I, I am, of the mind I, I am, of I am, one of the parties. I am a bit flabbergasted with uh, what my colleague has said. You see, I don't think uh, in the 21st century we're talking about mosaic law, an eye for an eye, self defense. If we're talking about self defense, you're talking about a breakdown of the system, the structure especially the security apparatus, bring it down. And that's why you see people taking loss into their own and self-defense. Because it's the last thing. Really, in any sense of society where there's law and order, there's no room for that. At all. It means, one, the system has collapsed. Two, those shall be the responsibility of securing life and property. They know next to nothing. Or they decide to look the other way. Thirdly, the society itself, there's anarchy within the society. So if you have some situations, then we are saying that, look, well, more or less saying bye-bye to this country. It's a very dangerous situation. Very dangerous you know, it's, it's, it's inconceivable, it's repressible, it's condemnable. Um, OK, uh, Dr. Nyekeke, the government has responded. I've heard that uh, they're going to sort of now intensify efforts towards uh, ranching in a big sort of a way. So many different hectares, so, so many hectares will be allocated to it and so all, all of that. In short, they are rising to the occasion. Um, do you think they're dealing with the fundamental... Belatedly. The, well, yes, indeed, belatedly, because we, we are able, it, it is in our language that we had a mass burial of victims of marauding Fulani herdsmen you know, in that whole area. And we've had mass burials, and now here we are. Our government is reacting. Do you think it addresses the fundamentals of the problem? Because this is not new. Thank you very much. Um, this issue of Fulani heartsmen clashing with different communities across the country is not new. But I would say it is something that is of recent. Because has flared up again. Yes. Now, Nigeria is not the only cattle producing country in the world. And I've tried to find out the largest cattle beef producers in the world. 53 of them ranked global. Nigeria is nowhere in that list. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is nowhere. There are on, only two African countries in that list. South Africa, number 13 and Gabon, number 53, that's the last. The number one largest beef producer in the world is the United States, followed by Brazil, followed by European Union put together. Oh, yes. not even Argentina. No, 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 no. Argentina is around number 13 or 14 or 15. Now followed by China, then followed by India, before you now start talking of. Now, these are the global major producers of beef. Now the question is, why are we not hearing about all these clashes in all those countries? Then why is Nigeria that is nowhere to be found in the club of cattle beef producers always in crisis over what I may call a few livestock that where people are taking from one corner of the country to the other? The reason is simple. Cattle rearing is a form of agriculture. And 
every form of agriculture has a way of doing it. Now, if these other countries, major, major you know, beef producers, have followed the proper way of rearing cattle and you know, doing all the processes and the rest of them, now Nigeria has failed. Nigeria has refused to follow the right path to this cattle rearing. What we are having at the moment in Nigeria is primitive cattle rearing practice. That is what is happening here. Mm. There is, let me, let me conclude. There is nowhere in the world, <laughs> there is nowhere, even by the Republic here, our nearest, or Cameroon here, there is nowhere, there is hardly anywhere in the world you go and you see people moving with cattle on the road or anywhere. It's no more done in 21st century. In all these countries I've mentioned, cattle is you know, handled in ranches. That is the way, that is the way, that's the way. Otherwise, if we don't follow that ranching method, it's, th this trouble is going to continue to escalate. Okay. And then the, the last point I want to make is this. The last point is this. Now, in all these other countries, again, there are areas, part of the country, that these cattle kind of specialize, where the, the environment is suitable for cattle rearing. There is no country in the world where every part of the country is a breeding ground for cattle. For instance, Nigeria is made up of grassland, uh, you know, uh, uh, middle belt, and then mangrove and rainforest in the south. The, the northern middle belt area is suitable for cattle rearing, naturally, natural demarcation. Now, it is, it is unheard of to be talking of cattle breeders in the Niger Delta mangrove rainforest. So, something else must be responsible for that. Okay, okay. So, uh, thank you very much. I'm uh, coming back to you, um, Alaji Tuko. Well, he spoke about beef production, global statistics, and all of that. Yeah, whereas that is important, uh, beef production is important. It's an important aspect of. Uh, I just think that the Fulanese must, in Nigeria, as far as we are concerned, they must be the largest producers of beef for the entire country. That's my guess. That would be a guess. It's uh, well, I'm seeing Fasi dissenting. Say, actually, it's, it's, con not, it's it, conjecture. Uh, uh, ah, now, but I don't think it's a. I, well, I wonder if it's about beef production or the main difference between all these statistics that were quoted by Dr. Oyekakeya and our situation here is the people, the Fulani people themselves, their very essence, their very age, uh, uh, the, their very essence, they, they are, no, they are nomadic, nomadic life. They are nomadic. They life. are nomadic. They don't stay in one place, and this is the way it has been through the millennia. It didn't happen 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 years ago. This is the way they are. There are other places like that who also take their cattle as seriously. I, I wonder if the Maasai of Kenya are similar, even though they're not the same. So this, uh, could you explain that whole bit? Because it seems like we could package all these problems up and say, look, here we are. This is where you shall graze. is isn't that you're doing, so you don't have a problem anymore. Will that be satisfactory? It is, a, <coughs> sorry, it is tradition. Tradition of some of the Fulanis. It's, it's, uh, you know, take for I, I example, was, yesterday I was being told about uh, bush Fulanis and urban exactly. Fulanis. Take for example, uh, I rear cows okay. when I'm a small boy. Okay. I live in the bush. Mm -hmm. So I know what is it. So it's part of... But of our, being a full Our parents, our grand grandfathers stay in one place. That is a town. Our town is all Flanese. We look alike, all of us. I grow up in my family. If you come as a house, someone you are looking for a girl to marry, they will not give you. Do you understand? Right, yes, 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 so, yes, yes. because they look at it's house, house. So, but close, you have close knit uh, community. With intermarriage and so on and so on, you have what they call house of Flanese. I only marry when my father died, and I will marry a robot. And my mother give me go ahead to do that. Maybe if he's alive, he will not allow me. Mm -hmm. I hope you understand. Mm -hmm. My senior brother married all his children within the relation. So that's why I don't think uh, what all he has is one last offer for it. Because if you marry all your children very close, then the grandchildren will come and chop all your food. You can't sack them. So that's, it's a tradition. Some of them, the they have, life they, they the have moved their money. They have a lot of money. They have a lot of cows. But they will continue until they die. Another person will take over. And he too, he will continue, continue until he die. Because this is the way of you being. You see them in the city, 
Maybe they go to the market in the evening, everybody is going home, and he's going to the bush. You ask him, he say, I'm going home. So, but the problem, when you start fighting with them, the Fulani man doesn't, doesn't have a rule of engagement. That's the problem. Yeah, but the Fulani is not above the law. No, it's not above the, the law. That's why you have, the that's law. why you fought the government. So now that Fulani herdsmen are carrying AK-47s yeah. instead of staffs. My brother, let me tell you what has happened, uh, what I understand are going on. If government, like now, uh, Fulani go to Gambia. But if you are living from Nigeria, going to Gambia, you have to apply. When you apply, you have to indicate the number of the car you are coming with and how many days are you going to stay and how many days you are going to live. Are you seeing any problem in Gambia? No. Here, we don't have that. Because we don't have that kind because of system. Because we don't have those kind of system. So the full animal just goes anywhere. No, nobody is tracking anything. And uh, he takes umbrage, if I understand it well. Exactly. When he's resisted, say, look, this, this is my land. We know you are coming. Don't trespass. The government know that you are coming to this country. Ask any community. And I bet anybody to tell me that, okay, when this crisis started and they have seen a flying man coming to shoot or do this or that, you can't get anybody. How can you get them? You can't get. Some of them, they, will come, ask, they should go and ask John of Plateau State. I have a brom who come to my house and he's confessing to me. He said, ah, these are your people. You can't even see them. Because the one in, in, uh, in Burkina Faso mm -hmm. or in Cameroon, mm -hmm or in the other neighboring country they are the one coming to operate. To, to operate. And they will come that night or that day and they will leave that day, that, night, that time. And by lake, because if you are talking about, about navigation, mm -hmm. they know better yeah. because they live. Some of them, some people are looking like they are not human. Yes, okay. Uh, <laughs> very interesting, interesting story that you tell us there. Now, Fasi, my question is, as he explained it, that for example, they might just be Burkina Faso, Fulanese, they might be from Senegal, they might be from anywhere, but in this example he gave. Now, isn't that like an external aggressor? Isn't that, isn't that enemy coming from without? And uh, is the government so slack that it is not able to discern or determine between Nigerian Fulanese and expatriate for lack of a better i know they are all one strain yeah, yeah they are but but no what exactly you let know, me let what, me what, add, yeah. so th this thing is not uh, let me add it's this not exactly to, no let me add this to you that uh, i'm a planner i'm living i have my house and unfortunately a farmer whether my cow what's unfortunate about that then i my cow eat your uh, yes, okay. Uh, some uh, yes, yes, yes. You yes, know, yes. whether intentionally or by mistake. Whatever. It, so it destroys message, my farmland, uh, for then, example. Then you report to the authority. The authority arrests the person and call him and sit down and value those property and you pay heavily. But if you get angry or something happens and there is a clashes and fight and those people who are killed or something, the flani in Nigeria, even if he's traveling from one point to another, if you attack him, he's not going to revenge. He will reach his destination. What he do? He reported back to those flani in in in, in, in neighboring country, like the community, because a plan. They think you take it upon themselves of to course, come and exact all what revenge. They, do, they said, okay, it's, we, it, it's we, a code of honor kind we, of a thing. We will say like a cola. They will say cola. They call it cola, ordinary mm -hmm. cola. Mm -hmm. That I have been on my way to so 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 place, and this was happened to me. But guess what? I wanted to tell you, and I'm assuring you, it might take time. But that town. Even if it's chicken, you will not meet it. They will come back no matter how long it will take. And it was those people. You see, uh, 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 do, you do, do you understand? And the Nigerians uh, uh, couldn't understand. Aji, I, 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 I've understood this, and I didn't know it until we had the benefit of you explaining it yes. from inside. inside. Yes. But isn't, will you understand when somebody listening to this might say, well, I mean, it's a wow. country. Wow. But, but that, 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 that? That, that is the height of arrogance. I never heard anything as arrogant in my life. Would you understand if some Nigerian who knows that no more, no, no eye for an eye, would you understand if they thought that what you've just explained, because people need to know what's going on, if they thought that I've, very, I've not heard anything as arrogant as that in my life. Well, you're As I'm uh, living, let yeah. me tell you, any yeah. time that I have seen that kind of attack to Fulanis, I just feel sorry. Because you know they're going because to come I back. Because I know what will happen. You know what will happen. Yes. And yes. they are allowed to do that. 
I know what will happen but because I will say these but, people they are not going to allow. But, but the laws don't allow that. So it has to do with the, the government. The laws don't allow that. It, it doesn't allow, but what the government do? If there is something like this, what I'm trying to say, if there is some kind of clashes like this, all what the community, all what, what the government need to do, quickly act it. Okay. I hope you understand. Okay. Provide yes. the security. So, so the government didn't move okay. right now. Yes. Okay. 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 I, 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 I gave Elijah more time because yes. we need his perspective. Yes, yes. Nobody else can tell us. I think it would have been better organized for him alone. <laughs> yeah, the program. Yeah, because honestly, I'm hearing some so, uh, horrendous, mm -hmm. some um, living we're, we're, we're worrying, yeah. worrying, yeah. Yeah. Worrisome, very, very worrisome. Yes, yeah. 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 But I think, I it's think the truth that for some yeah, reason yeah. nobody has heard. Yeah. Well, yeah. maybe they know it, but we're not singing it. Yes. I think the important thing we must know is that in this country, the security apparatus has broken down. Yeah, the architecture has collapsed. We've had in, uh, the police in this country for over a hundred years. We've had the army now for over 70 years. Or over, over about 100 years since the First World War. What are they doing? Some, some of our government officials, presidents and what have you, are full of this. Some house house, some canary, Yoruba, Igbo. What have they been doing to the extent that we have found ourselves in a, in a, in a country where we have a knife and eye, mm -hmm. where Mosaic law still operates? Mm -hmm. I mean, what sort of country is that? This is a banana republic. Uh, well, okay. You see, because, no, let, 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 me, let me continue. Because I cannot understand where I have a problem with you, and then stand up for us, we want to take revenge. Well, it's like a and hit. And I'm unprepared. It's like a hit. And the, the security men, they say, the state security service, calling themselves DSS, or they don't uh, know. The, this thing, they don't know. They don't have an idea. So why are they being paid? Well, the military intelligence, the national uh, uh, defense intelligence, the, all the agencies of government, what are they doing? So then the, 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 uh, the immigration. Ah, these people are entering the country. No, they don't go through immigration. That ah, is clear. They go through the uh, uh, well, They don't go through excuse immigration. Me, the immigration. No, excuse right excuse, excuse I, I, me. They are supposed to police the borders. The border. They are yes. supposed to po police the borders. Not they have helicopters. They, can't. they The budget uh, for helicopters and other border patrol and what have you. But the you police also have border, border patrol. There is a commissioner of AIG in charge of border patrol. Yes. So it means the whole system has collapsed. Well, so we can as well invite uh, foreign countries but don't forget, to take over our security. No, but don't forget that we've always heard from these very authorities that, quite frankly, with our resources, it is impossible to police the Nigerian that's bad, border. That's bad than that. Then let them resign. It is impossible. Let them resign. It's very, very See, poor. Let them resign. If you cannot maybe, do your job, you resign. Okay. Okay. Maybe, if, no, I'm just trying to be practical. I'm just trying to be practical here. When they talk about porous, uh, the paucity uh, of our borders well, but, yeah, and, well, and, but, and the paucity of you seen men. The, have you seen the border of uh, America with Canada? Uh, you, with uh, Mexico? Yes, yeah, but, but I, I see it quite frequently on cable okay. television. We, the, all the wars, all the... We have problems. Now, I'm not defending them. I'm just explaining that these are very logical things that you are saying, but we've come to be able to live with illogic, illogicality in this country. So we just accept as it is? Well, have, what, have you seen the narrative? Uh, well, I, I, have I, you seen the narrative? I, I have. Let me hear from Dr. Uh, Yekekeya. Yes, um, um, because um, what, what, what Alaji Mohammed Tuko described... It's, it's almost like, like a hit, uh, like a mafia organization that, look, if you are the person that's been offended, attacked, whatever, he explained that they might not see you again, but that doesn't mean the matter is over. over. It's not over. Other people will come and, I mean, he said it himself and he's a full enemy, so that yeah. was, it's like, that was esoteric. And we want to thank him for, for, for that. Please, for, 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 for the information. Us, for, for us understanding things that we didn't understand before. But the point is, it, there are laws. The full is not above the law. Although, I don't know, who are those guys that go around with daggers on their arms and that <laughs> nobody accuses them? It's part of their tradition. Nobody says, you know, carrying around a dangerous weapon. If I were to do a similar thing. No, it's a criminal offense. People would want to know. It's a criminal affair. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It is a criminal yeah. affair. But it's, said, okay. said, is it, it, but it's part of their society. No, no, no. No? 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 Okay. no. Okay. The law is above you. It, no it, matter how mighty you are, the law is above you. Yeah, so if anybody course. is doing that and the government is looking the other side, then that government should examine its own uh, operation. But what Alaji Muhammad has just told us, 
he told us because he has inside knowledge. Now we have oh, shared that knowledge. Wait a minute. 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 Let me answer. But revelation for the narrative. What he has said, as a full and man, that is knowledge to him. Then Mr. President has the knowledge as well. Of course. Okay. Can, uh, I, can, can, can I that can knowledge I, as well? Can yes. I say something here? Yeah, yes, it was Please. your turn. Um, the number one question I want to ask Al Haji. No, well, well don't ask Al Haji. No, no, okay. Don't ask, don't okay. ask Al Haji. Okay, okay. 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 No, no. Yeah, Just, don't, okay. Don't the, ask the number one question I want to, I want because to, I want to what present. you guys are doing is, is this. giving us opinions. Now, inform if, if the Fulani has this inherent way of revenge, the question is, why is it happening only in Nigeria? Why are we not hearing of all this mass massacre in Cameroon, in Niger, in, Niger, Chad. in Chad, and across the Mali. They are in all the over the Sahel region of Africa. Why is this thing happening only in Nigeria? Okay, okay so from, you know. from what you are saying, yes. in, from that question, it, it then seems you, what you're saying is that there's more to this than meets the sure, eye. Sure, 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 that, sure. That is, we'll leave that aside. Yeah, you know, Since earlier, we can't duplicate, we, we can't replicate that anywhere yes. else, Early, then earlier, what is it exactly? Earlier, I started by saying that this thing we're happening, that, you know, all these uh, uh, killings and massacre and the rest of them, for me, is of recent. I'm a geographer. We studied the Fulani, as part of our study, the Kato Fulani and Fulani Kato, the migratory you know, you know, ways and the rest of them, their, their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We studied it. And we know that in Nigeria, for instance, they move according to the season. During the dry, dry season, they, they come south, southwards, where there is grass, towards the Niger Benue Troa. Then when the rains start, they start moving back to the north. That's what we studied. Now, they have been doing this thing for centuries mm -hmm. without clashes, without killing the Benue people, without killing the Plateau people, and so on and so forth. And, so the, people and, too. and then, not even, not state. even, Raduna, you Sanu, see, Kabana, when we studied you know, the Fulani, we didn't, we didn't, we were not told that they crossed the Niger Benue truck and start going down south, down to even Bayesa State. It never happened. So the question is why is this thing happening now? Why is this killing? Okay, I will give him an yes. answer. Um, the reason is simple. You know, in West Africa, take for example, a plan man coming, they have their own route where they normally follow. All those routes have been taken over. Either they turn it by development? You no, know, by the development. Uh, that's what I'm saying. The, the head of uh, community and so now maybe they have solid or government building road and so on and so. So nowhere for them now if they came in. In Nigeria alone, or in the, Especially in the north part, northern part of the country. What of other parts of Africa but, where you have Fulanese also? Oh, are they not developing? At no, the they time? kept. No, they kept that route. When they come, they have a particular route to follow and go. So even during that period of time, when the foreigners Fulani came in, sometimes they normally have some clash with our local Fulani here in Nigeria. Okay. The Fulani in Nigeria, they only walk with their stick and so on and so. So whatever go wrong, maybe after. Uh, Gaddafi, there is a lot of arms coming and so on and so Do you understand what I'm saying? Maybe that's what lead to that. As I said, there is criminal among them. Really, there is criminal. Who normally go after stolen cow? If you are a house man, maybe you, you have cow, you decided yeah, to... Yeah, rustlers. They'll cattle come, rustlers. They'll come and take it. Yes, cattle you. rustlers. There you are criminals understand? among them. So there is a criminal. Among them. Some of them, they are even they turn into a kidnapping now, as, we are, as I'm talking to you. Do you understand? They are not interesting of... Uh, uh, rearing cow and so on and so so because the society has gone bad. But the truth of the matter is just like what you, you ask one question. That why now? Yes. I will give you an example in Sahara in Adamawa. The Fulani living there, they are living for over 100 years with those people. Then suddenly the youth who grow maybe lack of job and so on and so lack of caring by the government, they decided to say, sorry, this is our land and you need to leave. You cannot take your cow to the river and take water until when you pay. Okay, the Fulani community gather, raise two million naira and provide to them. Get some cow and give them. Guess what? After, because there are some small clashes, so after that, they left for the, for the bush and they went and attacked the family. Kill mother of the elderly, a woman with the pregnancy, remove the pregnancy and kill the baby. All this thing happened. Over how many? Over 60 people were killed, Fulani. But there is no report in the media. Osubanjo, the vice president, said he will, it's not going to be acceptable, something like that, and he's going to set up a committee. He has not done anything. So, 
at the end of the day, these people have to, they come back and take the penalty. They saw those people living. I hope you understand. So they thought that is normal now they are living our life. So then what's happened? They were attacked. One village, they passed through one village and they attacked the other we, village. Okay, we've we, we got to go on a break. Well, thank you. We've got to go on a break. Let's take a break and then come back because what, what, what I'm understanding that uh, Mr. Mohammed, Dr. Abin Alaji Mohammed Tuko is saying is that um, it's, not in, it's not really their fault. You've got to understand the matter and see that they were only uh, reacting and uh, essentially this is the way we are as Fulani. It doesn't matter whether in Nigeria or outside of Nigeria. This is how we are. Stay with us, please. We'll be right back. We'll also take your calls. Welcome back, and uh, my guest, my guests, Alaji Mohammed Tuko, Dr. Fasi Yusuf, and Dr. Luke Onyeke Keya, and we're looking at the Benue killings. Government, the federal government finally is reacting. Yesterday, the focus of our story was the outcry from um, the governor of Plateau State that um, we've been abandoned by the federal government. Um, clearly, they had some. They had also been thinking along those lines, and they've made some moves. Uh, but we're looking at whether these are moves that can really get to the fundamentals of the matter. And then we're very lucky to have with us Alaji Mohammed Tuko, who has explained, who has given some insights that very, very many people might not necessarily has, have had. And um, he also seems to be indicating that, look, this, this has been going on for centuries. This is the way we are. People just have to understand us. And then, you know, we can, you know, everything can be cool if there is enough understanding. You can't just see a few, a handful of Fulani in the bush and think that you can take advantage of them uh, and that this is it, it's no more than this. That if you knew there are hundreds, perhaps if need be, marauding hundreds behind them. And all they need to do is to report that we were hard done by here. And that, 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 you know, most people would say, well, this is serious. If this, this is what is going yes. on, how can it be allowed to go on? You're, you're, well, how can we be doing what we did 500 years ago yeah. and not, there not be any adaptation sure. for now? That's yeah. that's you're, you're, why should any group of people, any race, decide to embark on self-help? I mean, this is the aspect. And again, see, we're talking yeah, about the yeah. 21st century. Yeah. Why? If, because that, that's I the mean, point. Well, yeah. You see, it, 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 sorry, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Um, because it goes back to what Alaji Muhammad said. Uh, you, you have Fulani educators, you have university lecturers, you, you have the, every, every aspect of life is covered. So, so what I'm saying we have is three, that... We, we why have three tiers of government in this, this country. This self-help business. We have three, three tiers of government Why don't they go country? report to the police? We have local mm -hmm. government, we have state government, we have federal Look government. Look what happened. And again, how could somebody, for example now, you migrated down south to Abekuta because there's a, a Fulani settlement in Abekuta. And, uh, in cases of uh, such cases were reported in the past because there was to be this Abekuta Sokoto Highway abandoned by the federal government and completed. But they used that to bring in their cow from the north to the south, and at the same time they want to displace the the the, the indigenous. The, okay. And they, again, they, they want to be serve as overlords. And the slightest provocation, you see them. Killing, maiming, and destroying uh, oh, life yeah. and property. That, that is very sad. These are see, the we must believe in the system. Mm -hmm. And again, those operating the system must be alive to their responsibility. Otherwise, look, very soon we sing in the nuns, the meetings of this country. Look, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dr. Nyeke Kea, yes. I was hearing yesterday about um, maybe too late, people knew it about the bush Fulani and the town Fulani. Yes. So I just said there's the urban Fulani, he's the guy in governor, government, he's the politician, he's the lecturer, he's the businessman, he's all those things. He, he's the airline operator, yes. he, he's all of those things. Now there's the bush Fulani. Yes. Why is, I don't understand it because. 
uh, by the time the Fulani man becomes the air, airline operator, the Fulani man becomes the university lecturer, in short, what I'm saying enters the professions, mm -hmm. um, there are rules that he must comply with. He can't say, I'm Fulani and this is the way we are. No, he's going to comply. So what's the problem? Uh, what, what's the gap in communication, perhaps, between the town Fulani and the bush Fulani? These ways are unacceptable. Well, uh, it's as simple as ABCD. You know, uh, it's just like what the Sultan said, if you remember. Sultan said, the killing of Fulanis, people should not take it for granted. Hmm. You understand? Like, uh, that's what he said, if you remember the statement. Not a weakness. I think uh, even the Emir of Kano tried to explain about all this. It's worrisome, seriously, because sometime, let me tell you, when this incident happened, no any media is even reporting it. And people sit down quietly and look, what Ghana will do? It's just like the Sayawa issue. Nobody acted when they were, what's happened. You know, there's another one in Bombilla, if you remember. So nobody do, did anything. So until when that revenge comes, and that's the time that the vice president want to in, fly in, and so on, and so and some people try to cover it. So that's what caused most of the problem. Yeah, but, but, so but, I but, think, but, uh, but, but self, this whole concept of self-help, it's not a modern idea anymore. Of course. Well, of nobody course. No, no, nobody I, goes with self-help. When you say what the, what the city or well, the modern well, well, yeah, are doing, the, the urban Fulani, the town Fulani, yeah. Yeah. So, because he's being seen as also a killer. They are low abiding citizens. Do you understand? They pay their taxes. You can't do that, that. Of course. <laughs> Go on, friend. You, are, you are a professor. Maybe the, owner, maybe, ask, maybe the owners in the, in the north, they pay, uh, but those in the south, where, where are you going to see them? Maybe they are not asking. Maybe they, they are not but I can assure well, you, you see in this the northern boys? Nigeria, you see a these two boys? Man. A planning man is, is the first person to pay his taxes. Okay. Uh, good uh, so good morning, Ebere in Kaduna. Yes. Good morning, Ebere. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, thank you. My name is Ebere. I work and calling for Kaduna. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. You know, the man in the Daphne man. I like you took her. I like you really took her. Like it's not like that yesterday program. What is he been telling you? He's been telling me the facts. I've been in North more than 40 years now. Do you find out right from the one how sir and Fulani are always getting this problem? They saw one find out how they solve it. They call those like the Makiaya. So they also have to go with farmer. They always say they discuss this problem. But how they take solve it? Did anyone find out? If you are fighting with Fulani man, even you call you to go and clean your farm, go and do that. Because some of them, they go and meet the leader. When they meet their leader, they think this, this is the problem, this is what, before you go far away, they read those people. Because full animal can go and hide in place and be waiting for you. Of course. Before you know you take you by surprise. We live in the full animal. Why don't I marry a marry to full animal people? Full animal, they are not a violent people. That is the truth about that. Okay. They can just but they can ambush you, but they're not a violent people. No, they are not a violent people. But, but, but they, they can ambush about, you. One thing about them, full animal is very easily to then forget. Okay. There's no doubt about that. When you put them to the wall, the outcome is not going to be good for you. Hmm. Bad, 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 bad. And what this man been telling you, you know, sometimes, if you see a full new man, it's very easy maybe to counter the attack. You will see them. Let me just tell you the truth. Believe what he's telling you. It's kind of like you are fighting with ghosts. And this is reality. How bad do you have to do if they have a problem with full new people? Okay. They prepare for it and meet one of their king men. Before you think go to war, they solve the problem. All right. That is the truth. Well, thank you very much. And as you said, you are married to a Fulani lady, so you know them. If I heard that right. Uh, yes. You know, you uh, have uh, an uh, inside uh, uh, knowledge. Just endorsing now, what he allowed you to call He's say. endorsing what Otherwise, Allergy otherwise, has otherwise said. he will lose his wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. So, but, so, but you're but, on a most note. Yes. But, 
The, because he's the, saying the believe books, what that man is telling you. Says, he's also giving me the, contradictory the signals. Says, the, the, Full and are not violent, but they can, they, 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 they can go and they can lay ambush for you. For what? They don't forget. They don't forgive and forget. But the only book says vengeance is mine. That's the holy book. They don't uh, use the, the holy book. But the point is this. They use their own holy book. Yes. Okay, they are only holy But why should anybody decide to retaliate? If you, if you... No, no. I mean, well, it's, it's cruel. It's, it's barbaric. Well, well, well it's cruel uh, and barbaric. Yes. It's primitive. Yes. Uh, now, yes. I, but, but, but I, I wanted to touch... Uh, so, 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 sorry. That's why I, I like you have it. a religion. I, I, like I wanted to touch on something that was... that Fassi said in his last submission before a caller came in. This whole business about Fulani wanting to claim land in their migratory travels as alleged by indigents of that community um, what can you say about that? Wanting to be overlords, wanting to be... Frankly speaking, I don't believe what he said. A plan man just care about his cow. Why the cow is going to rear, that's all. Uh, Gracie? Gracie, that's w all. When you come to... And the one the government is making a law. They have made a law, they do not even provide what they will do. All what they need to do, they have look, they're supposed to look at it. Before? Before, to say, okay, you gentlemen, and this is where we created, and that's where you are going to live. Do you understand what I'm saying? But if you come, uh, uh, somebody who but, is not but, used to... But wait a minute. That, 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 uh, government should, take, att should provide a revenue for you to... I mean, uh, attempts? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, maybe no, no. haven't attempts at that. I don't know that. But the full and... They don't buy the land. The, 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 the cattle there. ranchers, the cattle ranchers... They don't, they the, don't give us the, the cattle the, free. The full and cattle ranchers seem not to be okay with this whole matter of corralling them and their, their, their assets in a certain place. Apparently, that, that there's an intrinsic part of them that has to migrate. Well, it is very simple. If you don't want to plan it in your state, then you can make a law that they should leave. No, 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 no. Excuse listen, me. Excuse me. No, hold no, no. on. Hold no, on. That is uh, no, nobody's saying okay, that. Listen, uh, uh, maybe listen. from Akagrana. Let let me, I wonder what the Fulani is in Akagrana doing. But I don't know if Ekene if can share any light. Good morning, Ekene in Ghana. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah. My contribution about uh, this killing that is going on in Nigeria, if you look at this issue very well, you understand that uh, the, 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 the government of APC is in other way pampering this plan against man. What did I say that? We all know how this government sets of the compassion of Python, Python dance against indigenous people of Biafra and kill a lot of them. They are not carrying on, let's be specific. They are not carrying on. They carry only flag. They carry only flag. The man is you should give them referendum and let them vote whether they should belong to Nigeria or not. Okay. Okay, yeah. Mr. Ekene, I, I think we'll just leave that out. Um, it's, oh, no, it's part of it. If, You're, it's if part Ekene of it. want yes. to go... It's part of it. You're going to mix uh, issues. Uh, no, we should, not be dodging issues. Not go. we should not be dodging issues. No, yeah, if you is, want to go, go. The concern is very rigid. The question was prepared by uh, by Jointa uh, for the for us, and yet they will not allow us to review the constitution. They will not allow people to restructure. You can't just get. Let, let. I said it was mixing up. It's not mixing things up. The, That's uh, the, 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 the guys in uh, the, uh, the Biafra guys want their own state. They say they are not Nigerians. That's a difference. That's a big difference. Excuse me. In fact, so much so that the Inspector General of Police annoyed some people by saying that it was a communal clash. You know, some people said, what do you mean communal clash? That suggests that members of a community had a disagreement. The, okay. Most times, that, that, most most times them, the know, President IG opens his mouth too mother, wide. Most of the planes, are they not living in the community? I hope you understand what I'm yes. saying. So yes, if, but they're if, passing if you, through. They're visitors they and they're passing if through. It, some of them pass through. Yeah. But and what they destroy. do those who are passing through, they will destroy. Who are they attacking? They are colleagues that they are sharing, uh, I mean, living in the same community, and they'll go and attack them. Or some, they don't even have like, plenty in their area. Take, for example, in, 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 okay. in uh, Kaduna set. Okay. Uh, during, uh, during the former governor who died, uh, mm -hmm. a plenty mm -hmm. from Burkina Faso is passing with over 1,000 uh, 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 cows it's and uh, just you see it and they went and attack him, killed the family and took some and he continued. But when they come back and take a bench, what they acquired did, they acquired provide a group to go and plead with that person and do you understand? Solve the problem and say, okay, we're going to pay compensation. Okay. It's the same money you acquired put in place in account that he died. Then uh, Yaru came in, took over. He wanted to pay, but unfortunately, there was an election. And after election, then he lost. 
Erupa Ecom, and that's the money Erupa Ecom makes use of. Okay, uh, Suraju, another problem. Uh, Suraju in Zaria, Kaduna State. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you, sir? Thank you very much for calling. I'm great, thank you. Okay, thank you. You see, the issue of this two army, I mean, has been a kind of clash. You see, the most important thing we should always keep in our minds, or the question we should always ask ourselves is why is it that in the past hundred years this thing was not successful? This clash was not successful. That's the most important question we must always ask ourselves. To me, I feel the government must always be proactive in planning. Like, say, in the next 50 years, how are we? Look at our housing policy. Look at our land. If you look at it, all these things are detrimental. All these things can lead to clash in future because farmers who need land. Fulani needs land. That's one, 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 by, one, one, one issue by the side. And another thing is, why is it that if you look at in our long time history, we find out that traditional rulers were more threatening. Government gives traditional rulers. So more, in most cases, they settle these matters even those clashes. 